Dear pesky plumbers, the Koopalines and I have taken over the Mushroom Kingdom. The princess is now a permanent guest at one of our seven Koopa hotels. I dare you to find her if you can. And you gotta watch the video because I couldn't think of an appropriate intro for this. Hey guys, Jessica here, and I've been playing PewDiePie's Tuber Simulator. I spent some time in it, so I want to review it. Uh, don't expect many more reviews. This game just kind of stuck out, so I want to review it. Alright, let's get right into this. So here's the thing that bugs me the most about this game. There is no music whatsoever. This makes it very uninteresting, boring, and bland. While the last game's music wasn't all that memorable, it was at least a nice thing to have. Removing music altogether is just a bad idea. Sure, some may say, well, what if the music is boring? I'm pretty sure you'd be able to turn it off. But wouldn't that contradict what you're saying right now? Well, the thing is, having no music can make something very boring. Like this video, if it didn't have any music, it would just be a boring and uninteresting video. Like it isn't already, but still. It helps clear out the empty void. There's also not much sounds in general. Sure, a few keyboard strokes, a mouse click, and occasionally an eagle screech, but that's about it. You're probably sitting there and saying, well, what else could they add for sounds? And that's a good question, because that's all your character is doing, is sitting there and typing. But music could help fill in that void, I'm just saying. Okay, the story. Some say the best or worst part of a game. So, this game's story is you're starting off as a new YouTuber and you want to be a PewDiePie. That's it. Some say a lack of story can kill a game, but mobile games I usually give an acceptance to. While yes, I do love myself some good story, I feel like a pick up and play game can be bad due to the story. This game without a doubt is a casual, made for time killing, and I feel like a pick up and play game with a lot of story can kill it. Let's take an example. You're at a restaurant and you're like, yum, food, delicious, hooray. And you pull out your game when suddenly an old lady carrying food trips and she has ketchup all over her face. Obviously, you can't take your eyes off what just happened. Maybe you even take a few pictures. If something important in the story was going on, you would have just missed it because of that old lady. You could now be clueless as to what's going on in the story. Let's take a Mario and Luigi game, for example. Both of these games are portable, while Mario and Luigi being more story-driven. Realistically, when you play Mario and Luigi, since you know it's a story-driven game, you'll probably sit down and play, and yeah, it is portable, but one is more important to story than the other. Besides that, what else could they add for story? Not much, but you want to know what you can add to your account? Currency? So, let's move on to that. So luckily, besides one type of currency, which I'll go into, currency is very easy to get. You get views off of making videos, duh, which you then use to buy furniture to increase your stats on certain types of videos, making you more money. When you're gone, your character also live streams, which makes you views while you're gone. So all around, easy money to get. Hooray. But everything comes with its flaws. Enter bucks, then like a real evil song comes on and it's like, whoa. I, I don't know what that was. But getting the weird out of the way, let's talk about Bucks. Bucks are the game's cosmetic currency, which luckily, Bucks don't increase any stats, making this game truly free to play. But some of the coolest looking stuff in this game costs like 200 Bucks, which is insane, considering that when you do get Bucks, you get like two or three. And then this is where they get you. You can spend real life currency on Bucks, which is how you do get the coolest stuff in the game. But luckily, it is cosmetic, so it's not a big problem. It's not like you're going to be missing stats just because the game wants you to pay. So it is just cosmetic, so I am going to move on from this. So yeah, that about wraps up this video. If you're wondering why I didn't include a segment on actual gameplay, is well, when I review things, I look at the bad. Not only is the gameplay not very interesting to talk about, I felt like the gameplay was fine and I wouldn't have much to talk about. 
So before I move on, I want to say that in this video, I made a script for, my, for myself to read from. I don't want to produce garbage. I don't want to go into a video with no general direction. I want to make a well-structured video. I'm also using Bandicam because no matter how many settings I tried on OBS, I just couldn't find a good setting. So I hope you don't mind. If you did like this, make sure to leave a like to let me know so I can keep making these videos for you guys. And besides that, have a fantastic day and goodbye.